Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a SharePoint site. So let's get into it. So before I get into this video, to use SharePoint, you have to make sure that you have the right Microsoft license. So just double check and make sure that you have access to SharePoint with your license and then you can follow along with this video. Also, this video is going to be focused towards our marketing business, but anyone that has a Microsoft license with SharePoint can utilize this site, whether you're just using it personally or you have a big team that you're trying to manage. So let's talk about the logistics of creating a SharePoint site. So here is the main screen of SharePoint. I'm going to go over to the marketing team YouTube site. So this is like a big list of all of your sites um, from your organization. But today we're going to focus on this site. So as you can see, I've already built this out. You can see where I have where people can go straight to our team site, where they can go straight to our YouTube channel and to our latest news on our website. These buttons are linked to the folders where the edited and unedited videos are located. Then I've got an upcoming video schedule so we can schedule events for the future. And then here I've got all of the documents just located at the bottom here if they need to get to anything. And then we've got our most recent video um, at the very bottom for them to click and play. So there are a few things you can do when creating a new site. If you would like to edit your SharePoint site, you would click the edit button in the top right hand corner and it would prepare this editing page for you. So here I would first recommend you changing the section layout of your page. You would go to the top left corner and click the plus button and you could choose if you would like two columns, three columns, one third of it to the left, one third of it to the right, or a vertical section. So for me, I like to do the one column because it looks the most like a normal website. But if you change it to two columns, it would look like this. So you would have one here and one there of um, different sort of um, features that you can add. But I'm gonna undo that, go back to the regular. So choose which way you would like to um, section out all of your information first on your site, and then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna keep the one column for now. And then I'm gonna show you guys how, how to add these different little tiles. So what you're gonna do is you're going to click to where you'd like to add a tile in between wherever you are. And here's that little plus button to where you can add a web part in that column. So you would click the plus button and here you can see all of these actions that you can do. There's tons and tons of stuff. So let's say I wanted to do a call to action. So here's that. And you can add the call to action um, text here. So you can say, check, check out our website. And then what you would do is you would edit that web part specifically, and it would come up with this right column and you could label the button. So you could say, go to site. And then you would link the site right here. So I would copy and paste. And then you could choose if you would like this to align in the center or on the right or on the left. I like it on the left, so I'm gonna keep it there. And then you can also change that background image, which I think is pretty cool. So I'm gonna add some Axiom swag here and add that image. It's gonna take a second to load. And then there you go. So that's one of the images that you can do. I mean, you can find a better image than that, but that's just an example. And that is a great way to easily just have them click on that go to sites button and it goes straight to your website. So you can use that however you see fit that would work the best for your team. So 
wherever they're going to the most or trying to locate something the most, like that's where you should put, um, that's what you should put here in this main page because it's just gonna be so easy and efficient for your team. So now I have these buttons here, but they are not linked to a specific folder yet. So how I would do that is I would go to the edited videos folder. So here it is down here. I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna copy this link to the folder. Copy. Then I'm gonna go up here to the edited videos button and paste that right here. So now it will go straight to the folder. So let's test that. I'm gonna click republish at the top right. If you don't do this, it will not save your changes live on that site. So you wanna make sure once you're done making all the changes, you click that. Now here's, look, here's our new image. And when I click on this, it goes straight to our website. Super awesome. And then we've got that edited videos link, which when I click on that, it is gonna go boom, straight to that folder where all of the edited videos are. This is so helpful for your team in a great way, again, for them to stay efficient. Another cool thing to note is that you can always drag and drop and change where things are. So let's say I wanted this at the bottom now, I just click on it, drag it all the way to the bottom and then let go and here it is at the very bottom, okay? Another thing is that you can make comments um, on this website. So right now I have the comments turned off, but when you turn them on, you can add a comment, um, mention someone here so your team can even chat here, which I think is pretty cool. Another thing that I would recommend you do is that you go to the page details once you're editing the page um, and click on that at the top and make sure that you have a thumbnail and a description of that of this site so that people know what it is and it stands out among the rest. You can also quickly here copy the address to the SharePoint site directly. If you would like to track your team and check on if they're paying attention to the site, if they're using it, maybe you want to delete it if it's not being helpful or change it up if they're not liking it, you can click on the the top analytics button. And when you click on that, it can show you the page analytics of the amount of viewers, the page views, um, the average time spent by your user, so like your employees, and when they're using it the most throughout the day. This is a great way to keep track of the efficiency of your team. So the last thing I wanna share with you guys is that Again, when you're adding a um, web part to your column on your site, just like how I was talking about before, when you click that plus button, there's tons and tons of options and things that you can add to your site to help your team. The best way that you can learn this stuff is going to it yourself and diving into these different web parts. You know, there's some great options of you know, just a link to a specific thing that they go to. Maybe it's some sort of, you know, a client portal that they need to have access to or something like that. If you want it to look pretty and show an image gallery, maybe you are a photographer um, listening to this and you have your clients checking out your site. You could add some really cool photos to the gallery. Um, if you use Stream, you could use Stream here directly to YouTube. Um, there's also some really cool things with documents and lists. Um, so you can add document libraries here, saved for later libraries, um, and other sites. You can even connect um, feeds like um, conversations from Yammer. Um, you could add your Twitter. Something cool too is this countdown feature. So if you have a big event coming up, then maybe you wanna keep at the top of that page to remind people, you can click on this countdown feature and say the specific um, time that it's going to take. So you would edit this web part by clicking in the top left corner. You would say when the date and time is of the event and you can keep this countdown at the top of the page. That is pretty cool. I like using that feature a lot if we have a spe special event coming up. And if you want to delete it, you would just click the delete web part option to the left side of it. So I encourage you guys to 
really dive in to these features and these web parts because really the person who knows your company and your team the best is going to be you. So I encourage you guys to really try your best to utilize these features to make a site, a SharePoint site, as efficient to your team as you possibly can. So again, I wanna say that if you're using OneDrive, OneDrive is a lot more of personal links, um, folders and files and stuff like that. You can share them if you would like, but it's way different than SharePoint's capabilities of creating this whole site for your team. So I hope you guys understand that today. If you have any questions or concerns or ideas that you thought of while I was sharing this video, make sure to comment down below. I'd love to dive into specific subjects that you guys are interested in about SharePoint. Just comment down below any recommendations on videos for the future and I would love to hear that. And again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.